Well, Karabag normally play their home games in the Azersun Arena, that's their sponsor, or the Tofik Bakramov Stadium. Russia, Sanigov on the right. The regular skipper in Europe. Well, the team news for Karabag is that their influential Brazilian Pedro Enrique is suspended after being sent off at Atletico three weeks ago. They make two changes to the team that beat Sun Kayet at last weekend. As expected, Rashad Sadigov, their experienced defender, is recalled. And Donald Gurrier is preferred to Danny Quintana on the right side of midfield. Quintana just carrying a knock. A little bit of unhappy the way the Premier League have done their fixtures this season, forcing Chelsea twice this season now to play crucial matches against top sides. As you heard, four changes with David Luiz and Antonio Rudiger in the back three. William gets only his second start in the Champions League this season. And Pedro will play alongside Hazard up front. Alvaro Morata kept in reserve with a crunch game against Liverpool at Anfield coming up next Saturday. And that was something that matches or the Premier League games following their matches in Europe. So it's just the luck of the draw. Broken for Pedro, and the follow-up shot from Cesc Fabregas, bringing the first save of the game. Ibrahim Sejic, the Bosnia-Herzegovina keeper. Just going astray, and uh, Zappa Costa dwelling on the ball and the chance here. Well blocked by Aspila Queta. That was Manitov who had the shot on goal bringing uh, quite a crescendo from the home fans. Play again from Karabag, the 1-2 with under... Richard Jans! Off the post! Follow-up from Richard is over! Oh, what a sensation! Just over 12 minutes gone. Karabag almost taking the lead. And it was a lovely move as well. Lovely drag back by Michel. The one-two, Michel onto the loose ball and off the crossbar. The spin equator was well beaten. William on chase. And William almost getting through. And has the referee pointed to the spot here? I think he has. And it's a red card. Well, that's a sensation. Manuel de Sousa sending off the Carabag skipper. Oh. No mistake from the Belgian. Chelsea take the lead, 21 minutes gone. And not just the lead, but a man advantage as well. Sage going the wrong way, as our coolness personified as he gets his sixth goal of the season. And the turning point of the game, that's sending off. Poor clearance straight to Fabregas. And Pedro with the volley, which he uh, rather scuffed into the wonderful playing surface here in the Baku Olympic Stadium. Not the best of connections from the Spaniard. This counterbag will now have to uh, sit back deep. Has been Equator, and the header goalwards by Azar, easily caught by keeper Sehic. Chelsea starting to dominate possession as we approach the half-hour mark in the Baku Olympic Stadium. The furthest point you can go in Europe, and David Luiz was almost the furthest in the air and on the end of that corner, but the header well away from the goal. Good delivery from Fabregas. I'm four hours ahead of London. Azar, William, 2-0. Slicing through the centre of the Karabag defence. A deft bit of skill from the Belgian maestro. And William, who's had so few opportunities this season. Just on the end of that back heel from Aiden Hazard. An assist and a goal for the man on the Alonso number three. William and Fabregas there as well. And it's William 
who was so brilliant at taking free kicks last season, seems to have lost his touch a little bit this campaign. Still involved with the Brazilian squad, but... And it looks like a change, yes, uh, Matatop has gone off and uh, Dinayev has come on against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup back in September. William staying onside. That is something that surely Chelsea should be trying to avoid in a game which is surely already theirs. To the over ball to Pedro. And William in the centre. Excellent defending by the stand-in skipper Medvedev. William fighting to get it back. And the referee saying that the Brazilian team captain. Good rest for him, would surely be just as good as uh, playing another 25 minutes. Rudiger, lovely ball, Morata pulls it wide, should have scored. Lovely feat initially, but the uh, radar was a few degrees out, and Morata has been... Now Pedro, Morata is through here, stayed on side, great challenge by Courier to give away the corner. Morata quick as a flash through the uh, heart of the Karabag defence, but William, after Garayev's mistake, back comes Richard, penalty kick. Second penalty of the night for Chelsea, 20 minutes to go, and a yellow card for the stand-in skipper Medvedev. Hopefully it's only a yellow. It isn't, it is. Thank goodness. Another red would have been a disaster for Karabag. Sure, three points for Chelsea. And that one an even better penalty because the goalkeeper that time guessed the right way and it had to be absolutely in the corner. And says Fabregas has put Chelsea beyond reach here. His first goal in the Champions League this season, just his second of the campaign. And it's Karabag nil, Chelsea three. <laughs> So that's nine without reply for Chelsea against Karabag. Up. Oh, this is through. Surely a goal here for Aspen Equator. No, the flag raised. Offside the decision. It must have been Aspen Equator. Morata was coming in late to finish it off. Conte can't believe it. Danny Drinkwater, the last change. Giving N'Golo Kante a little rest. Placed by Elvin Yudishada. Just about everything has gone the opposite way for Karabai. Unloved the hard work, Pedro, William. Oh, what a finish. William with a flourish to make it 4-0. Chelsea have scored more goals from outside the penalty area than any other team in this Champions League group stage. I think that's their fifth. And William showing a clinical desire to have a go from long range, right into the corner. Nothing the goalkeeper could do. Sweetly struck. Who can now no longer qualify for the last 16, though they are still in with an outside chance of getting to the Europa League group stage. And here's what that result means for Group C. Chelsea sitting very, very nicely indeed on top of that group. And home to Roma coming up in the next hour or so. Um, lads, it couldn't have been. Sending off obviously clearly changed, but it was a stroll in the... But pace is just like I'm a waiter. And I ain't got no time for haters. I reach by my belt and shoot it like I'm in the Navy. Bitch, I eat my shrimp and steak and gravy.